Mercury uh, is at that very final degree retrograde of um, Virgo, and then it goes back into Leo. So it's retrograding back. It has about eight more degrees. It's very slow. That's the, the one thing that I feel bad about for Mercury is Mercury likes to move fast. He does not like to be slowed down. He's not as ornery as Mars when Mars goes retrograde, it feels like, but still. Um, a, a, another anecdote I'll say for Mercury retrograde is that I love the dream world when Mercury is retrograde. There's so much that's like churned up. And so I, I say it often, but write your dreams down and date them so that you can go back later and, and look at the chart if you need or, or see what the patterns are. Mercury retrograde, it can just be a great time for, for, um, for dreaming. It's really true. Yeah. Cause, cause Mercury loses its dignity then. So, so those planets now might start feeling it more that Mars Jupiter might start feeling that loss. Mm -hmm. So, so that boost that it started out with the, the quest starts out and then you hit a roadblock you know, or a, you get a flat tire or whatever it is, you know, you, you can just imagine you start out on the quest and everybody's bright eyed and bushy tailed. And then suddenly, no. <laughs> and it's moving into the, the exact square with Saturn at that point too. At least Mars is moving ahead, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, no, there's some stuff that's got to be dealt with first. And really it's just, you've got to take the time, look at it, redo it. Yeah. And then it'll still go ahead you know, you'll, you'll get there, you'll get to the first square of it, but it's, it's not full steam ahead yet. Yeah. And also like, what is Mercury going back for in Leo, like tying that second and third house together? Like, what is it about the second house of Leo for Cancer Risings that needs to kind of be revisited, re revamped, let go, um, realigned all the RE words so that it can go forth with speed later on in the second and then into the third house when it's like in much better position, it'll, you know, once, once Mercury goes back into Virgo, uh, it'll be at home again, exalted again and fast and newly reborn. No, it won't be, it will be newly reborn in, in Libra, but it'll have a lot more momentum, but it's going back to the Leo house. What reason did it have to go back to that house? That's just like, think of your own chart. Think of the Virgo Leo houses and, and see, see if you can like start to decipher the puzzle 